This is Motorola My UI, and all I can say is they have done an amazing job. Yeah, this is the Oxygen OS you wanted to see from OnePlus. So Moto's My UI contains all Pixel OS customization features and also new Moto actions and gestures. So this right here is the Moto Edge X30 aka Edge plus aka Edge 30 Pro and this one is the Pixel 6. So I'm gonna show you guys all the design differences in Pixel UI versus Moto's UI. The lock screen is very same in both these UI. Here I like how Moto is taking new design elements from stock Pixel UI. Even the password and unlock animation looks same. Now home screen may not look pixelish and that's cause Moto is not using material use style icons as of now. This however is gonna change really soon. The quick settings are same like Pixel UI for global devices and grid shape for Chinese users. The one in China is different and better than Pixel UI quick settings. Yeah, we have more tiles like mini media player, screenshot, wallet and whatnot. In my opinion, this kind of quick settings is handy and that's why we call it quick settings, right? Now fun part is the Moto UI do supports the same theme engine like Pixel UI. This means we have material U in action but the customization section is different and more advanced than Pixel UI. So yes, the personalization section contains layout, the icon size and how many icons you want on home screen, font, colors which is like Pixel UI color selection tool. This will sort out colors matching your wallpaper and then you can select and apply that accent in your device. Then we have icon shape, different size icons and shape, display size, font size and overall theme. Yes, we do have custom theme and icons option in the Moto UI. So this is insane. This is what I call the max out customization option. This is like the next level personalization settings I've seen. Not to mention I love how Moto devices have this Moto gestures like chop for flashlight, twist for cameras, power touch for options and there are tons of handy gestures you can use. Some additional features includes ready for PC and support for stylus which is great. Now I wanna show you guys some small design changes like power options, the application callout, the widget section which contains all new material use style widgets. So I can say there's not much difference in Pixel UI versus Moto UI in terms of the interface and animations. Here are some system applications. There's dialer, messages, camera and you can see we do have cam and mic indicators on top. The camera UI however is simple. They should add some more options in there. Then there's notes and clock. Now this is how the dark theme is gonna look like in both Moto UI versus Pixel UI. Yes, even the widgets support the dark theme which is nice and it is pitch black. The settings is where Moto have done an amazing job and this cause you can access all the settings. There's no hidden settings like in Mi UI or Samsung One UI. This is exactly the same Pixel UI settings, no difference at all. The privacy section has all security features like cam and mic kill switch, dashboard, permission manager and password settings too. This is the recent section of Moto's My UI and I must say this UI is fast, is secure and best pixel alternative you can get right now. The animations are smooth and are fast. Here there are some hiccups here and there but I think the overall experience was nice. Finally the software scope, Moto is promising 2 years of major OS, this means A13 and A14 and 3 years of security patches for latest Edge 30 Pro slash Edge plus flagship device. This I would say is decent, not something which can match Samsung or Pixel or even OnePlus but that UI is not boring and can go fine in long run. This is all guys, thanks so much for watching, your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.